In this step, let's go over how to use PowerShell Direct. So PowerShell Direct is a great way to remote into Hyper-V VMs without any kind of network connectivity. So before we start, we first need to talk about a few prerequisites. So first off, you're going to need Windows Server 2016 or Windows 10 as your Hyper-V host. You're going to have to need your PowerShell console launches admin. You're going to be running PowerShell as a Hyper-V administrator. So before we start, there's a few prerequisites that you need to address. So be sure to look down through each of those to make sure you address all of those. And then finally, I want to note that I am currently working on a machine outside of my Hyper-V host. So we're going to be working with three different machines in this demonstration. So it's important you know that. So first off, I am currently on an external machine that's not the Hyper-V host or the VM itself. And I am using quote unquote regular PowerShell remoting to go into my Hyper-V host. So I'm replicating a real scenario here. And I've, uh, right now you can see that I am uh, remoted in because I have the IP address of the Hyper-V host itself and I'm in a PowerShell remoting prompt. So first off, let's just see the VMs that are currently available on my Hyper-V host. So I have one called LabDC that's running. That's the one that we're going to run the remote commands on. All right, so to do that, first up, I'm going to just assign the VM name here to Lab LabDC and um, get my credential. I've actually done this before, so I'm not gonna have to prompt that. So I have a, uh, a VM credential. So this is the, uh, the Windows credential that's on the running uh, Hyper-V VM. And then to run this, it errors. Well, why does it error? This actually took me a little bit to, to realize that I was running into the, um, the cred SSP uh, double hop problem. So the problem is not only did I have to deal with DNS problems, IP, all that networking stuff and authentication, um, I also had to deal with the cred SSP double hop. So you're not, if you're not familiar with that, that is an instance to where if you are using PowerShell remoting to go into one machine and you're in there, it's not going to allow you to pass those same credentials that you provided onto another one. So um, right now it won't work. All right, so just to show you that, that uh, PowerShell remoting does work, I'm gonna go over here to my Hyper-V host and now I'm RDP'd in directly into my Hyper-V host. You can see here that the host name is Hyper-V SRV and I'm defining the same VM name, VM cred, everything the same. And now when I run this, see that it comes back as the host name of LabDC. So it actually works, but I have to RDP into my Hyper-V host directly. And I'm not really keen on managing servers with GUIs and RDP. Um, so we can actually get around this by using PowerShell Direct. All right, so coming back here, I wanna show you the demonstration of how cool this is. Um, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to completely disable the NIC on that VM. So there I'm just running, I'm on my Hyper-V host, I'm running the get net adapter, disable net adapter, and then running that on that lab DC VM. And when I run this, it's going to ask me, are you sure, are you sure? Because it's probably going to kill your network connection. And I say yes. And then at this point, it's just going to hang and hang and hang here forever because I've essentially just cut off my own legs at this point and I hit control C, control C, it's not going to actually do anything. So now we just have to wait for the local prompt to come back. At this point, my console is dead. However, we can get around this by going back. We don't have to actually have to uh, wait on that. We could ping it and it would not respond because the NIC has been disabled on it. However, we can use PowerShell Direct. Once you've met all those prerequisites, we can use the VM name parameter instead of the computer name parameter, specify all the same parameters, script block and credential in this case, and then it should work. So let's see this, see if it works here. So the, the NIC has been disabled. And now when I run this, notice that we didn't get any error. We didn't get that cred SSP error or any kind of configuration error. We didn't receive any error at all because PowerShell Direct was able to use the VM bus, an underlying layer that was that's farther down than a networking stack, and it doesn't depend on networking at all to run any command that you want. I could have ran any code that I wanted to at that point. 
So that's one way you can do that with VM name. Um, another quick way, which I really haven't found a good use for, but I did want, want to mention it, is you can also use the VM ID as well. So to do that, I was able to get call get VM and get VM returns an ID property. And then I can specify the ID here. You can see it's a GUID. And at this point, I can just use the VM ID parameter and pass the VM ID, which is, does the same thing. So in these instances, in the for the code, I was just specifying host name in there. It was just returning the name of the host. So, but you could run any command in here. It's great. You you just have no dependency on the networking stack whatsoever. All right. So I went back over here to my Hyper V VM, and now that it's finally returned the prompt, now I'll just try to to ping Lab DC. Okay. Notice that it's obviously not working. It's giving me destination host unreachable. At this point, I could just try to run these, you know, run this all day. I'm not going to run anything because it's all depending on the networking stack. So that has been how to run remote commands on Hyper-V virtual machines with PowerShell Direct. Thanks for watching.